Well, as everybody can see, there's only three of us here. Apparently, we had a giant miscommunication last night. They said that they were going to move areas. They were gonna, yes, yesterday they were saying. They were gonna hike out, come to the truck, and then hunt somewhere for the night last night, or for the evening, afternoon, whatever. And I said, okay, we're gonna hunt this bull midday, then we'll head to the trucks too. Do you see anybody else here at the trucks? No, they never came back. <laughs> <laughs> so then last night we got down here to meet them. They weren't here, so I messaged them and said, how you doing, where are you guys at? And they were eating tenderloins. And they're packed for two or three days and they're somewhere else. The varsity team <laughs> is gonna go find some bulls and we're gonna whack and stack. And by I mean whack and stack, I mean shoot one because we have one tag. We're gonna get our stuff dialed for the remainder of the trip, I believe, in case, well, I shouldn't say that because their communication skills could change at any point. They could be back here tomorrow. They could be back here tomorrow and they might need help with something. So we'll come help them out. We're going to get packed up here, taking the morning off a little bit and um, should be on the mountain by noon or so. So that's the plan. Hiked about what, third of a mile probably? Yeah. I would say something like that. Nothing, no bugles, but Dead. I just realized we don't have paint on. How can we go into the bugle party and not have paint on? They're not gonna accept us. No, we wouldn't be accepted at all. We'd be like that outsider that just like, he's not that cool. You've been there before. I've been an outsider a lot. <laughs> I but, didn't... but now I'm an insider. Nailed it, nailed it. Uh, paint's gonna do it. I think it, it's not gonna hurt it. I know that. It's like hunting and not carrying your bow. You wouldn't do that, would you? Ever. So, gotta carry the bow. Gotta paint up. All the little things add up. It is true. And then after a while, it just becomes part of your life. Yep. I'm gonna do the eyeliner again. Oh man, that looks scary. It is scary. Someone got one. Gotta get the eyelash too. Really darkens up. Really darkens up your features. If you do your paint the same exact every single time, we can just dub you in on certain days. Yeah. Nobody will ever know. Don't screw it up though. No. I'm trying to keep it exact. Man, there should be elk in here. I would sure think there'd be elk right here. Comes up off that big steep. Nice little gentle. There should be rutting right up here. There should be breeding territory. Got a lot of feet up here too. A ton. See, this is what we were looking at last night. See those little benchy spots up in the back end of this? Yeah. 
Money. Money. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Let's go with, let's go with bad. Bad news is we're gonna have to go into the jungle. But the good news is that there's bulls sounding off down there. Serious? Yeah. I'm gonna go off on their own down below here. See, sometimes when you just go alleviate yourself, things just come together. I have to do some paperwork, take care of some things. Are they on our side? Max seems to think they are. A couple of them? Probably five. That's all we need is one. We just wanted to come down in the timber and bang our legs around and bleed and go sweaty. Just check it.
one. The second bull I was on, this, or actually the second group of bulls I was on this morning. That's awesome. First one I had him at 30 yards, facing straight towards me. Wind was perfect. All of a sudden, oh. <laughs> Have you guys been hunting this for the last few days? Yeah, we've been here since uh, Wednesday. Okay. You gonna be here for a while more? Uh, a couple more days. Cool. Cool. Monday and Tuesday. Well, where are you headed so we don't step, so we don't... I come up, you know, I just kind of come up straight up this way and wherever their bugle is where I go, so, you know. Yeah. National Forest, go for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we just don't want to screw you. Yeah. Yeah, same. Y'all sounded good. I was going to on. Either that's hunters or it's a good bull and cows. And I said, he's going to come back. And he, he was here for a while, thrashing around a little bit, came down. I don't know if y'all heard me bugling at him before. Yeah. And then uh, he came down, and when y'all started making advances, he, he booked it. He's just been real tight. He wasn't come all the way. He no. wouldn't really commit. No. That satellite, they had a satellite bull around him. Wouldn't let him, wouldn't leave him. Yeah. So, that's okay. We'll find one somewhere. Yes, sir. There's yeah. plenty of them here. Oh, man. This is beautiful country. Where are y'all from? Oregon. Oregon. Yeah. I'm from, from Florida. From Montana. He's from Montana, and he's Nevada. from Nevada. Gotcha. So I'm up here all summer long, and... This is how I cap off my summer before I head back. It's a Perfect. good way to do it. Yeah, and then start whitetail hunting in Illinois. Oh, yeah. Go for it. <laughs> Another heartbreaking moment in the Upwoods. Oh, close. Finally found a bull, got on him and had him talk. He's shut up for a while. Snuck all the way into this elk trail. Started raking, so he just kept moving in closer and closer. And I locked eyes on him. He was looking downhill. He looked downhill, we didn't know why, and then he kind of looked over this way, and then he started walking off. I got to full draw on him, and I uh, just kept walking straight away in this elk trail, right out of my life. For good. For good. It was a good, good six point, and uh, turns out there was a hunter down below us, like 70 yards, that he said he was 60 yards from the bull, and he was watching 40. the whole time. 40. Oh, yeah, 40. He said he's 40 yards 40 first, yeah. So that's, that explains why the bull was looking downhill and that wind probably was doing something. And It happens though. Public land, it's yeah. what happens. He was a really nice guy. He was a super nice guy. I hope he actually gets in his own bulls. He was from Florida. Yeah. Florida. That's a jaunt. Um, hey, there's a ton of bulls in here. We heard probably, I'm going to just go out on a limb and say five different bugles possibly. Yeah. There's a lot of bulls in there right now. Yeah. So we're just going to. Grab a bite to eat real quick and then keep doing this side hill thing back in this huge basin and there, there's more to offer. Oh yeah. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. We just need to find a bull that just goes, hey, I'm coming. Mm -hmm. He was real like kind of twinkle toeish. He didn't want to really commit. No. It was weird. We had to work for him. We did have to work for him, but we almost got him. We did. Almost got him. So hmm. let's grab a bite to eat and then recharge our batteries. There you go. I've been fasting all morning. <laughs>
the wind was bad like a few different times. Let's see if you'll power. And he was hammering to every bugle. We're not down, we're not out. We're just learning. We're learning with every single run away. That's all. Um, we are relocating to a new spot and hopefully trail's gonna smoke a bull. That is the plan. Trail. What's up? What is your prediction for the next couple days? Uh, I think tonight might be a little slow, but I'm thinking tomorrow morning uh, we're gonna call in and kill a six point. Yes. That's the prediction. I'm down that. I'm definitely down that. I think we'll be doing burgers by about uh, 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Ooh, burgers in town. Burgers in town. Oh. That's my prediction. Another big old double, Wesley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As you guys saw in this, today's breakfast, I eat a lot. And we went to the uh, local watering hole and I put down a mean burger. Dude, that thing was a tank. It was a big one. Gotta love it. Side by side. <laughs> because there's so many people that yeah, have been sitting here. Yeah. Yeah. It's hot. It's really hot. I'm not usually one for sitting wallows, but um, I'm down for sitting in the shade right now. I get home Friday, like when I'm coming into town, I'm gonna call our local Gino's Pizza Parlor and I'm gonna get a freaking giant Canadian bacon pizza with a large container me? of spuds with like five giant tubs of ranch. And I'm just gonna gorge myself. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Trail. <laughs> Are you having any food? cravings yeah let's hear it i've been super thirsty lately for a ice cold diet mountain dew and probably like some pizza pizza sounds good maybe it's just he brought it up but uh, from my local place the pizza cart they have one called the italian cowboy it's pretty dang good. The Italian cowboy? Yeah, it's like barbecue sauce oh. and chicken oh. and it's wood fire baked. Oh. Sounds amazing. <laughs> I'm having some food cravings as well. 
I'm craving two different things though. One, I want like a just monster salad. That does suck with some ranch. Yeah, that or like good. some honey mustard or something. That yeah. sounds good. Because I haven't had nothing fresh yeah, for the last true. however long. A good salad does sound good. Like just a fantastic chef salad. Just fresh cut watermelon. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that would be good. So I got that food craving. But I also want to order a bucket of just a 24 piece crispy chicken from KFC. Original or extra crispy? The rich, just original. Yeah. yeah. Original. original with mashed potatoes, thick brown gravy. Biscuits? Oh, bis yeah. With Biscuits some with some honey. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's where my head's at right now. I'm thinking about chicken. How long of a drive is it from the middle of nowhere, Wyoming, to the nearest yes. Kentucky Fried Chicken? <laughs> Probably a couple hours one way. Nah, I'm not driving a couple hours for KFC. I don't know. We're gonna go try and find some bulls, right, Steve? Yep. Bulls. 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 The bulls. The bulls. In the bull range. Bulls that come into bull range. So you're specifying. With an open shooting lane. Okay. That's perfect. Yeah, that's right. That's if, what we need. Because if they're within 30 yards, but they're standing behind a tree. Tough to shoot. Tough to shoot. Tough to shoot. Not, not recently. So what, the right over? It says the right over. Around the corner. Up on there. Up over there. I, I just heard a whoop, just the squeal. It's like, okay. Stay in that saddle up there. I think so. Okay. What do you think? <clears throat> I think I need a really big salad and a 24 piece bucket of KFC. It's a watermelon. That sounded really good to me. You yeah. know what else sounds really good right now? A freshly baked apple, uh, not apple, blackberry cobbler. <laughs> with some ice cream on top. Oh, with some vanilla <laughs> ice cream. Dude, we're starting to get delusional. <laughs> Blackberries a weed though. <laughs> Blackberries are a weed. That's a fact. I've Black, chopped enough of them. Dude, but they taste berries. delicious. Oh, blackberry cobbler with vanilla ice cream. Oh my gosh. Hot. Like, <laughs> like it melts the ice cream. Oh, yeah. And so then the ice cream is just kind of like soupy, but it's still a little bit cold. Oh yeah. Yeah. But that good crust on it was like the big granulars of sugar. Yes. Oh, yeah. Now what How we're the top has the squares. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're getting back. Just been 
sitting here trying to get these winds to stabilize. The last two bowls we were on winded us, so it kind of feels like it's kind of going up and away. Pretty much steady. It's pretty, pretty steady now. So there's two bowls bugling below us. We're just gonna kind of side hill into them, play it real slow, try to play methodical and smart. And uh, punch a tag is what we're gonna be doing. You feel it? You feel it? We're gonna do it. All right. We're gonna do it. I think this is gonna be it, guys. Why don't you just grab your tag out and punch it right now? Oh, yeah. Just to tell you guys and why we're breathing hard. We have decided to change mountains. Change mountains. Change mountains. So we are gonna go up over the top of this almost a thousand foot elevation gain and uh, go to a different spot because the 12 bulls that we got on today just wasn't enough. Just wasn't enough. And it's a legit 12 bulls we were on today. Yeah, yeah. But Zach and Brady decided. I'm just saying, we're a team. I'm going with. Feels like we're mule deer hunting right now. How much we're climbing? Does it feel mule deerish? Yeah. They decided that we need to go on the other side, which could be promising. It could be. We did run into that hunter today. He's been in here since Wednesday, running him around. We're looking for some fresh meat. Um. Yeah, that's about it. My dad would be rolling over and right now. Actually, he's at home. He just killed a five by six yesterday. But he would be going, son, do you ever leave elk to find elk? Maybe sometimes. This is gonna be one of those times. It's one of those times. So I feel like there could be a, just a evander on the other side. New country. New country, trophy country. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna climb out of here, guys. It's almost getting dark. We didn't get any elk footage today. No, we did not. Did we? I uh, know. Thanks, Zach. Um, right. I don't know, maybe. Maybe a couple glimpses. Had long distance. Long distance glimpse. But uh, yeah, go with a tech tip. Just before we start sweating profusely, give me a tech tip. Uh, I mean, the best thing I've always learned is to hunt where the elk are, <laughs> not where you think they are. <laughs> I, that contradicts doing. everything nope. that we're doing. It does not, because elk are all up there. Oh, gotcha, you've been there. True. You've We've been through here in Elk. <laughs> <laughs> they're not right here. So they're up there. <laughs> okay. They were here, but now they're there. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. So stay tuned for sweat. And it's going to, what, what time is it? We're going to make it by dark? Close to 7. 6.40. Six We're going to make it by dark? An hour of shooting light. Huh? Got an hour of shooting light. We'll have a bull down. Next thing you see is a real scramble is what you're gonna see probably in mm -hmm. you shooting a, the elk of your life, of your dreams, of your world. Let's do it. All right. How many elk are now we think they are? <laughs> Good point.
sandpenetrable wall to get to. Even mule deer man here says so it's steep. This is steep. This is just straight up. What did we just do? Well, so here, here's another thing. I want you to kind of comment below if you would. We just busted out a whole nother herd, no big deal. Um, what is that number? Let's see, carry the two, four, eight, maybe a 12. I think we're at like 10 to 12 bulls. Baker's dozen, Baker's dozen. So, so. yeah, we're gonna do the smart thing and leave those animals and go up this precipice and hike into the next basin. I just would love you to comment below if that's a good idea, bad idea. What do you feel? Good idea. I knew you did. That's where we're going. <laughs> That's where we're going. So, here we go. Straight up. Here we go. Watch, watch, watch this. I mean, don't mean to be a, you know. That's wild, it's like, it's all across that face. All right, well, we made it to another night. Um, we come up that super steep canyon and came over the top and there's a forest fire, it looks like across the ridge. It's got all of us kind of wondering what I don't I don't know what do we what do you do there anybody I don't know but it's a long ways away it's a, over what two miles, two miles away, yeah. about two miles away but um, I don't know we're gonna converse here and figure out a plan and because the truck is somewhere it's way out those canyons but it's probably two miles from the fire but I don't know Anyway, tonight guys, today was an awesome day of hunting. It was great. We just uh, didn't capitalize, didn't have anything to capitalize on. So hopefully we're getting closer every single day. I'm hoping the other team got into them tonight and hopefully they... We're gonna set up some tents. So you know the routine, go to bed, get up, hit it hard. That's all we can do. So figure out what to do with this fire, because see those flames coming up over this the ridge? The flames are the closer, this is what's worrying me more. Yeah. You can see how far it went up on top. It's kind of, there's not enough fuel up there, but there's so much fuel down here. It's a little scary. Little, little scary? Yeah. It's bright, like I've looked at my binos, it's super bright. Down right there. there on that ridge? Yeah. Like that tree over there looks so cool though, with binos yeah. when it's on fire. Is it? See, this obviously wasn't here this morning. Like, this is all just from one day how far that's gone. How do you know? We woke up this morning, there wasn't any smoke. We were, Did we... we were on this side for a little bit. Yeah, maybe. We might not have seen it because we were kind of in the trees, but so how far it's gone up that mountain. Well, guys, it is just me today. Um, Cody and, uh, and his wife Andrea are over at the shipping and our shipping place over in uh, Coos Bay and they're trying to get as many packages out. I'm working on the video for today uh, so I can upload it and get this thing going on time. Trevor and Wyatt are out duck hunting and as you can hear probably it's pouring down rain outside. Just wanted to recap the hunt. I just wanted to give you guys some closure on what happened that day and how that day went. Honestly, the video doesn't show it very well but that was one of the best days in the Elkwoods that I've ever had. We had probably 12, 13 bulls bugling that day. It was just got so close on a lot of them. Uh, Brady was at full draw three different times. It's just, it, it just didn't work out to get a shot that day. And um, it was just amazing, amazing day in the woods. Sometimes the elk, it would be out too far and Zach couldn't get it quite on camera. And, and it, it, just, it was just difficult for, um, for him to get all the elk on, on film in, the, in the, how thick it was in there. It was super, super thick. So. Great day in the Elkwoods. As you saw at the end of the day, went up to the top of the hill and we were gonna hit the next basin over just to try to find some new country and stuff and uh, that's what Brady wanted to do. And it's always the hunter's choice. It doesn't matter it, it, what's going on through the day, whoever has the tag 
our rule is it's their choice. They get to go wherever they want. And Brady wanted to go check out the next thing, which was totally fine. Don't think that I'm upset in the film or nothing like that. It was, um, it's, it's crazy how things turn out because um, right at the end of the day, as you just saw, there's a forest fire on the other side. We would have never known that had we gone over that other side. And I'm not saying we were in super danger or anything in that canyon that we were in. I'm just saying you never know. And I mean, winds could have come up. We didn't know what the weather, we knew it was supposed to be nice. We knew that there was no rain coming, I will say that, but we didn't know about, you know, how much the winds would affect the fire. And from the look of it, the fire is actually looks like it's coming up on our side of the main, main draw on the bottom. Uh, later inspection, it wasn't, that was just the way the smoke was. But from the glow of the fire and what we saw from the very top of the ridge, it looked like it was. So and it could have been, I, I don't know i don't know so we stay there we camp right there and we watch the fire all night we camp in this big open spot where we can see it and kind of keep tabs on it and um anyway tomorrow's a new day you'll have to see how that all pans out as well so um but yeah that was a it was a crazy crazy adventure great day of bugling um elk it was so awesome moving on from the hunt um Shout outs. I have, I, I just have one thing today that I wanted to, that I wanted to talk about. And I got an email this morning from a guy named David. We've been emailing back and forth for the last year or so. And David has cancer. It's uh, started prostate cancer and then, and then it, um, it spread from there. So David just emailed me this morning and um, he doesn't want to be recognized or anything. I just, it just touched me and, and it was something that I just wanted to, uh, share with you guys and it's not necessarily about David it's about his whole story so if I can get through this Trent I finished up my three and three to four different chemo and immune therapy treatments just finished up with a immune therapy treatment last Tuesday that caused a chemical induced lung damage latest scans show cancer in liver spine and brain it appears the Oncologist was unable to come up with a treatment that worked at all on my rare form of metallistic small cancer cells. Got released to hospice care on Wednesday, praying for God's strength to finish. Praying for God's strength to finish my life journey strong. Sad to say, last year was my was my final archery elk hunt. Love last five states episodes and I'm getting through this year's Born and Raised project. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work, especially your commitment to God's participation in all your projects make sure that never changes the reason I shared that shared that story with you guys and, and I don't think that David would want me to but the reason I did is because David's son David had a, a, um, had, a had an 18 year old son and um, who had a really lucrative baseball career and just uh, from what I've heard just a great great young man he died when he was 18 out of a freak, freak car accident. And, um, but the, when he was on earth, he made a huge impact in the baseball and everything, but it's what he's done after he was gone that um, made a giant impact. David, and uh, which is his dad, started a foundation for him. And um, it's about teaching kids baseball and about, it's, a, it's kind of a ministry through baseball. I'll put a link below and I would really appreciate it if you guys would check it out. It's uh, the whole story is called a life worth following, and it's a it's a ministry. But they teach kids how to do base how to how to play baseball, and and they actually have a team called the Ambassadors, and they go around and play, and they do camps and stuff. And and I'll put all the information below in a link. But um, through all this, and through born and raised, and, and right now we're just so busy with all these videos and with all the shipping and with everything that we've been doing. It's just Man, to me, it's it's um, 
sometimes you got to step back and look at the big picture and look at um, people say that we've changed their lives but I don't think they understand how much you guys have changed our lives as well it's just stories like this that just man we we are so blessed and um, just thank you guys for um, for following us along and, and think about David and think about their family if you would going through this times in their life that's just I can't even imagine I mean I can't even put it into words how I can imagine it and he sent me pictures of his kids and his grandchildren and they're with him now and uh, they're staying with him at, at the house there but um, how blessed we are and um, what kind of an impact that anybody could make on somebody else and like they have done with me you know the impact that he's made with me so anyway um, thank you guys so much for watching today and so what I want to do is um, let me grab it real quick. What I want to do is, this is a signed Beagle tube. This is um, signed by everybody that was ever on the project. Every single person um, that got to hunt with us and filmed with us and, and everything. I want to um, auction this off. I'm going to auction it off on our Instagram page. And the reason for that is it's so hard sometimes on, um, on our YouTube page. You can't really directly connect with somebody um, during the bids and stuff. Like if someone won the bid, I've had, I've been, we've been having trouble connecting and saying, okay, um, you won, but you have to just put that in the comments and hope that they respond. You can't have a direct connection with them. So I'm going to do this on our Instagram page, guys, and uh, we'll just do a bid. I'm going to start it today and I'll just let it go for a day or so and just see what it does. But um, and it'll be for the foundation of um, a life worth following for the ambassadors and and which is in the link below go please check that out it's a really touching story but um but yeah so go to our instagram page i'll put that in the link below too i think that's how that can work i'm not all the way positive behind this stuff but um please check it out now and, and i'll put a post up on instagram just i just want to give a huge thank you guys thank you guys so much for the support and uh it inspires the heck out of us it's just it's just amazing what you guys have done for other people and I see that all the time and it's because of you guys that that's all possible so thank you again sorry I told you I'd cry this year <laughs> sorry um, sorry no one else could be with me thank you guys so much and we are gonna see you guys on tomorrow's video thank you